Hey everybody, welcome back to Quest for Glory 2, the remake. The druggist seems to keep busy at his trade. Ah, I did not notice you come in. This is the apothecary where one can buy many wondrous pills and oils. I am Harik. If you need something, just let me know. Um. Uh, reward. I am always look in need of certain components for my work. If you are brave enough to bring me some of these components, I am more than willing to pay you for them. Components. Oh, probably spelled that wrong. Components. Components. Move, cat. Components. I am always out of scorpion venom to make poison cure pills and ghoul claws for my experiments. I will pay 20 dinars for the tail of a scorpion and 10 dinars for the claws of a ghoul. Neat. Shapir. In. Yeah. Yeah. I miss potions. Oh, there. That's how you find the... Oh. Desert. Zir. Mir. Make a purchase. Huh. Quest for Glory. Oil. Uh, Quest for Glory 3, I was, should have said. Wrong one. All right, fine. Let's see. Should I get anything else? Hmm. Yeah, I probably should. What are these? Vigor pills. Okay, how much does that load me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, there's three in each. That's pretty good. Communication skills have have risen up. What time is it? Midday. I don't need any pots. By food, by meat. What's the difference? Oh, that's not cool, man. Giving me choices? Falafel?
drink some water. Because I can. I'm going to say, Allahoo, welcome in, Kazoo Knight, Tip a Canoe, and how do you do? Pleased to meet you, and I mean to please you. Welcome to my little shop of wonders. Wonder what shop it is? Magic, of course. I am Keep On Laughing, proprietor. You must be Noble Claws. Proud to meet know you, Mr. Claws. Shapiro always hopes for heroes. It's sad, Dad, but if you need to climb to the sublime, you need a rope. Dope. I happen to have a magic rope for sale, direct from some Hindu who did the best he can do. What? That's a lot of dinars. I think I'll just buy levitate for now. He's like me, I had you here the whole time. Abracadoo and didgeridoo make the thing appear for you. Here you go, Joe. Hope you're happy, Pappy. Oh, you this is costing me a lot. That's the wrong thing to sound to make. Um, anything new added, or is it all the same stuff? It seems to all be the same stuff. Need to talk to him. And daily news, rumor. Don't go in, but as it has a water bed filled with fish. Oh, the other lives off the east end of Shema Tark. Mind your P's and Q's when you're there, or she might send you you know where. And desert. Monsters. Seer. Beard. Notice my note, mister? It's dervish for the world of a dervish. I will pay you 150 cent times in dinners, of course, for such a thing. All you have to do is find it. Well, I'll see you later. If you need to know some knowledge about magic, then... Go see as I will chant you if you stay. Watch out, she's testy though. So long, farewell, off. we the same. Goodbye, see you real soon, if any, cause I like you. Shamil Chuck. on Shamil de der de der I guess I can't buy anything from this guy. Hmm. Oh, wait. 
What do you sell? Find our Huh. I get the feeling I'm lost. Hello. You better stop stealthing for now. That would be rude. I mean, you don't go sneaking into some, sneaking up to somebody else's house. It's suspicious. And I forgot to set my timer. Knock. You politely knock on the door. A uh, blues. Who sent you here, Rakish? A demon. A z i z a. You may freely enter into my home, blues. <laughs> Answer yes. Let's slow the game down a tad. Just for here. You don't want to rush things in here, you know? Um, Magical games, you say? My spells allow me to see things at a distance and to know their true nature. Magic can be misused for ill purposes. A foe can seem to be a friend and the victim is helpless against the foe. The more powerful the magic, the more likely that it can be used for evil purposes. The magic I work with most is water magic. That of knowledge and true seeing. As water can reflect, I too can reflect spells back upon the caster. There is much magic in this land, some of very dark nature. Water is the element of healing and life. I use it in all of my magical workings. Uh, Shapir. Sultan. He often consults me for information about things. He has a good deal of understanding about people, and he knows how best to use them. He is doing everything in his power to prevent the ill omens from coming to pass. Ill omens, you say? The Ifrit make the hot desert sands their home. They are seldom seen. The jinn are very powerful magic beings who roam this land. There are five types of jinn. Dajin, jinn, shianti, ifrit, and marid. The jinn are powerful and rule the air, living in the clouds. The jinn are s seldom seen. They take the shape of animals and hide in the mountains to avoid outsiders. The shatin prefer streams and waterways. The Ifrit are associated with fire and such prefer the desert. The most powerful and magical are all of the Medrid, and the master of the Med Merid is Iblis. Iblis once sought to rule the world and created a great city in the middle of the desert, but Suleiman ben Daud summoned all the, di the jinn to rise against Iblis. Iblis was bound in his statue, and his mighty si city has become, has, bleh, was destroyed to become his tomb. Yada. Look at the fishy. It's the biggest bunch of carp you've ever seen. Thank. And say goodbye. Resume our sneaking. Yes. Hmm.
Jewelry, rugs, both useless. Kirk of the Stars, which translates to Street of the Stars. Gosh, that one was a lot easier to translate. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go find the, uh, what's it? Uh, astrologer. Aha! That was fairly easy. Come in, come in, Hassan, come in! Oh, that is not you? It is hard for me to tell at such a distance. Come in anyway, and welcome. I am Abu al Niger, Niger, and I am the astrologer of the stars and omens. Who are you that I might know you? Ah, Blues, it is indeed a name for heroes. It is well that you have come, then. The signs show that we will need soon... We will soon need a hero here. Greet. Uh, astrology. Mm -hmm. Job. Fortune. Tell about Spielberg. Sorry if I'm just skipping through it for just skipping through this, but honestly, this guy's kind of boring, and I don't know what kind of voice to give him. Man, look at it go. But screw it, I don't need your stuff. Hmm. What to do now? Oh, wait, there's my max limit there. Um... Hmm. What should I do now? Oops, sorry. Am I in your way? I don't mean to be in your way.
Nice for the Alright. Alright. So you are the strangers the merchants are talking about. The gate to Shapir is always open, but never have I seen an entrance to the city like yours. To fly in on a carpet, it must be grand. Aye. Delight in existing things. Well, that's true. Let's go fight something. Look, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Piece of cake. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! so good. How do I run? How do I run? When the arcade level is set to easy or normal, the co-pilot feature can assist you with certain combat actions. This panel allows you to customize the co-pilot's priorities. Keep in mind that the co-pilot only assists you in battle. It will not fight the entitled battle for you. Well, did... I don't know how to... I would really like to run... escape key. Yeah. No. If I'm gonna fight something, it's not gonna be a pterosaurus. more complicated than I thought it would be. Okay. Um... need a little assistance there. I'm not 
dodging, am I? Well, I wish I could feel better about that, because that didn't go very well at all. Did I save? I don't think I did. Okay, yeah, I want to try that again. But regardless of what I want to do, we're out of time for this video. Wait, let's... Auto battle assistance, enable... Slash button, fence. Dodging is hard. So yeah, we will try this again some other time. I'm the Blues32. This is Quest for Glory 2. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.